Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on trigonometry. Uh, so in this video we'll be looking at the three trigonometric functions, sine, cos and tan, and how they relate to right angled triangles and unknown angles. Uh, so here you can see there's a right angled triangle, so let's just mark that in. Uh, and let's draw in an unknown angle, which we'll call x. Okay, uh, so now we need some definitions for the three sides of the triangle. Uh, so first of all, uh, we'll use the hypotenuse as our first definition. So the hypotenuse is the longest side in a right angled triangle. Um, we'll call it H for short. Okay, and then next uh, we'll define the side opposite uh, the angle. Uh, so that's the opposite side, or O for short. And then finally, uh, the side that's alongside the angle, uh, but not the hypotenuse, is known as the adjacent side, or A for short. Uh, so from here, let's define the three trigonometric functions. So the first one is sine x. Now sine x is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And then the next expression is cosine x, so cos x, and that is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, sorry. And then the final expression is tan x, and tan x is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. Uh, so another way that we can write these three functions uh, is as triangles. Uh, so the first one would be as follows. So sine is opposite of a hypotenuse. Uh, the second one would be cosine is adjacent of a hypotenuse. And the tan function would be tan is opposite of adjacent. Uh, so as you can see, uh, these three functions form the acronym SOCOTOA. So this acronym is a useful way of remembering all three identities uh, and what order they come in. Uh, so moving on to an example, uh, find the length of the side marked y to one decimal place. Uh, well first of all, uh, let's identify what sides we've got here. Uh, so we've got the hypotenuse h, that's easy enough to spot. Uh, and then this side y is the adjacent side uh, because it's alongside uh, the unknown angle. Uh, so we need to identify which expression we need to use then. Uh, so if we have the sides a and h, uh, then it's the, the ka part, the cosine of the Sokotoa that we need. Uh, so cosine, so cos x equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, so then if we substitute our values in, uh, we get cos 38 equals uh, adjacent, which we don't know, that is our side y over h, which is 12. Uh, then to solve for y, uh, all we do is multiply both sides by 12. So y equals 12 cos 38. Uh, now the question wants that to one decimal place, so let's put that into the calculator now. So 12 times cos 38, uh, and that gives us a value of 9.46, uh, or to one decimal place, it's 9.5. So y equals 9.5 centimeters. So moving on to a second example now, uh, this time we're trying to find the angle rather than trying to find a missing side length. Uh, so find the size of angle z to two significant figures. Uh, well first of all let's identify what sides we have here. Uh, so the angle z here, uh, this side 5 is opposite, so that's the opposite side, uh, and this side is alongside it, so that's uh, the adjacent. Uh, so if we have the opposite and the adjacent, then it's the tan part of Sokotoa that we need. So tan x equals opposite over adjacent. Or in this case, we can rewrite it as tan z, seeing as though z is our angle, uh, is equal to 5, uh, because that's the opposite side here, uh, divided by 8, which is the adjacent side here. Okay, uh, so if tan z equals 5 over 8, then we need to use the inverse tan function uh, in order to find the value of z. Uh, so we can write that as z equals uh, tan to the minus 1, so that's the inverse tan function uh, of 5 over 8. And if we put that into the calculator, uh, to get the inverse tan you press shift and then tan, 
Uh, so sometimes it will say arctan, sometimes it will say tan to minus one. Uh, it depends on your calculator. Uh, and then if we put five, uh, or let's write that as a fraction, sorry, five over eight, uh, that gives us a value of 32.005, or to two significant figures, uh, the angle is 32 degrees. Now it's really important that you get a lot of practice with Sokotoa and trigonometry in general, uh, so you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, and you get instant feedback on all of them, so you can see the solutions, find out where you went wrong, and find out how you can improve. So if you're interested, then click the link below, it will take you straight there.